Okay, all praise to you, Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Shah, double honor to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Uh, Shalom to the elect. You know, we're back with another segment. You know, this is going to be pretty much a, uh, you know, a warning, you know, or, or uh, um, admonishment, you know, to scoffers and to uh, 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 brothers out there who are, are torn in between as well. You know, um, more so, you know, bringing out the history and showing what happens when there's no leader. You know, because the scriptures are, are, are life, man. Because the scriptures, everything that happened in the past, uh, the things that are written before time were written for our learning. You know, through our faith and with patience that we ma might have hope. Now, the things that happened back then will show you what happens, what will happen now. You know, and basically this brother, he was bringing it to my attention and, you know, let him elab elaborate on the, uh, on the facts, on the, on the scriptures, man. Kind. So... Basically, the name of this lesson is, you know, right in their own eyes, you know, because that's what we're seeing a lot is, you know, these people who, who despise government, they doing what's, or they doing and saying what's right in their own eyes and not going according to the scriptures. Now, when you read the, the last four books of Judges, it talks about, it says that they were doing right in their own eyes, which that means what? Following his own corrupt passions and inclinations or desires. You know, so we're going to get into that. But to start it off, I want to get this scripture. This is uh, 2 Peter 2, verse 9. The Lord knoweth how to deliver the godly out of temptations, and to reserve the unjust until the day of judgment to be punished. But chiefly them that walk after the, the flesh in the lust of uncleanness and despise government, presumptuous are they. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, that's heavy. Um, because it says, uh, they, basically, after their own lust, you know, after their own heart's desire, that shows that they des despise the rule that was set up. There was, we're going to go into the history on the times when there was no rule, there was no government established, no heads, and we're going to go into the times where there is a rule and there's a government and there's an establishment and show the difference. All right, and we, we, you'll see that basically what these guys are talking about, these scorners and scoffers, you know, the, the uh, primarily the three stooges and whoever else that are backbiting against their teachers, who, which, in us, in turn, we believe through the spirit of the Lord that the government that Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah is establishing, as of right now, the, there's there's top seats that are on the earth right now. There's some there's someone to report to. There's someone to, to be guided up under. You know? Which and hence that's the government. That the scripture says what in Isaiah 9 6. It says that uh his name will be a wonderful counselor, mighty power, everlasting father, the prince of peace. He his name shall be no no, he said uh and it says and the government shall be on his shoulders. Yeah. The government shall be on his shoulders. He's gonna carry the government. All right, what government is that? That's the government that you see before you, starting with the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. All right, right, because that don't just mean when Yahweh Shai come. That's when the government's gonna be set up. Because you gotta understand, we built in a spiritual temple, and and what happened when they was building the temple? All the stones and all all the stuff was was in place before it even got to the point to to where they was building the temple. You know what? You know what? You know what cuts that right? You know, these niggas are hypocrites. Because what do you have? Masharah Yasha'ala, right? Yeah. What does that mean? The government of Israel. So you know there's supposed to be a government on earth. But yet when you say, when we say that the that the men of the Lord, that the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, are, is, is that government? Then why do you have a problem? But hence, you have a, a, a so-called government of Israel. You know, the, you know that that's very hypocritical. But it's a, you have a problem with that, that statement because... It's the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Right. Yeah, it says, Presumptuous are they, self-willed. They are not afraid to speak evil of dignities. Now, it's like as you reading the scriptures, man, because all throughout the scriptures, it talks about the, the, the leaders and, and then also the people, Jake rebelling to the leaders that the Heavenly Father set up. You see? And it said what? It says, uh, after, it said, them... It says, but chiefly them that walk after the flesh in the lust of uncleanness. 
And that's what it that's what it means. Following his own corrupt passions and inclinations. That's the whole basic of the topic of them doing what's right in their own eyes, man. Saying that there's no rulers, you know, saying there's no there's no men to be over you. You know, we oh we just following the spirit, the, the spirit. But it's a way that the, the Heavenly Father set things up, man. You know? I got scripture. Mm -hmm. This is uh Deuteronomy seventeen. I'm gonna start at verse uh Verse 12. 8. Okay. I'm going to start at 8 read down. It says, If there arise a matter too hard for thee in judgment, between blood and blood, between plea and plea, mean judgment and judgment, and, bet and between stroke and stroke, being matters of controversy within thy gates, then thou shalt arise and get thee up into the place which Yahweh thy power shall choose. And that's the point. That's the, the, the main point right there. See, the Most High chose who the, the, the top uh, 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 officials are. He always did. did does not the scripture say that the, the, the heart of the king is in the hands of the Lord? Yeah. You know? It says, a uh, uh, matter of fact, Psalm 75, it says he put it down one and set up up another. Exactly. All right? Uh, another scripture, Romans 13. He said, the powers that be uh, uh, established of the most high. All right? Uh, uh, verse 9. It says, and thou shalt come unto the priests, the Levites, which we know... That the, the order of, we're up under the order of Melchizedek right now. We're not up under the order of Aaron. Alright? So, when you, when you, when you interpret this, we interpret into the time that we're living in now under the order of Aaron and not up under the, sorry, sorry. We're up under the order of Melchizedek and not up under the order of Melchizedek. I keep saying it wrong. You know, we're not up under the order of Aaron. Alright? So that's why the scripture said you go to that to the Levite. Right now we go to the high priest. Right. You know the the the, the uh, uh uh not the highest priest, but the the, the top ruler, the, uh, the 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 top ruler right now, the highest priest that we can go to for for guidance. All right. Then unto the judge that shall be in these days, those di in those days, unto the judge that shall be unto those days. <laughs> right. Is an inquire. And they shall show thee the sentence of judgment, and thou shalt do according to the sentence, which they of that place, which Yahweh shall choose, shall show thee. And thou shalt observe to do according to all they that inform thee. See, now, when you get the judgment, when you get told what to do by these top-ranking officials, you're supposed to go do what they told you to do. Plain and simple. When that, when that, and that's not just the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. You're talking about camp heads, camp leaders, you know, the, the, the men, the officials, the top officials in, in brothers' camps as well. All right? Now, go, now if that, if that man told you to do something according to the judgment of the Lord, you're supposed to go do it. Continuing on, it says, uh, according to the sentence of the Lord, see, which they shall teach thee, and according to the judgment which they shall tell thee, Thou shalt do, thou shalt do, thou shalt not decline from the sentence which they shall show thee to the right hand nor to the left. And every one of those guys up on there, starting with the three stooges, Sakari, you was told to do something and you didn't do it. So that's why reverting back to that scripture in Peter's, oh, another person, uh, 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 Yakanan. He's another person that was told to do something, but you didn't do it. And that now what you did was you reverted back to your own lust and you despised the government. Continuing on, it says, It says, Thou shalt not decline from the sentence which they shall show thee to the right hand nor to the left. Don't persuade it to do it your way or do it, do it your way or do it another way. Another brother told you. You're supposed to do it according to the way you was told in the first place. All right? And the man that will do presumptuously, going back to that that scripture, the word presumptuous is to to uh, uh, to, uh, to do to, to do as you will. Matter of fact, let me look this word up real quick in the Hebrew. Deuteronomy seventeen. This is verse twelve. Cause that's what's happening. Men are acting. In a presumptuous manner. And Peter spoke about it later on. So this is nothing new. This is the MO of Israel. Zadawan. Pride. Insolence. 
presumptuous, arrogance. You know, you know, we gotta get to clean clean the plate. You know, let me get this word real quick. The word arrogance. It says the quality of being arrogant, the arrogance of, of this man, or didn't go into uh, the root of it. You got something you want to say? Yeah. Uh, um. Yeah, it's arrogant because what makes you think that the the heavenly Father, how about Shimei Alshad dealing with y'all over the, over men that's been laboring in this thing for thirty pl thirty plus years, man, for twenty five plus years, man? Now, you know. Mm -hmm. Now the word presumptuous it says failing to observe the limits of what is permitted. You walked outside your own guide, your own own um um. You walked outside of the guideline, man. Yeah. That's the whole point of government is to set a boundary. To set a standard. Look, you can't do this, and you can do this. You don't want to do this. This is what you need to do. You know? It's all angles, man. Let's see, once you get out that, now you're acting presumptuous. Now, let's read what the rest of what it says. Mm -hmm. It says, And the man that will do presumptuously, meaning act outside of the boundaries, and will not hearken unto the priests that stand to minister there, before Yahweh thy power, see, someone is sitting at the Godhead seat. Yahweh ain't down here. To, when Yahweh when Yahweh comes back, he said, "I will not meet thee as a man." All right. It says. It says, "Or unto the judge, even the man shall die, and thou shalt put away the evil from Israel, and all the people shall hear and fear." And do no more presumptuously. So you guys are going to be made example of, man. A to, to act in a presumptuous manner is a, 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 a sin worthy unto death. That's why you cats are never come. You guys can never come back in the camps. You can never come back into the camps. It's like letting a guy that committed adultery back in the camp, you know, or a guy that committed a homosexual act. Now you, he did that. Now you're going to let him back in the camp? Hell no. You are outside the temple. That's why when Matthew 18, Matthew 18, he said, let him be cast out as a heathen man. You are heathens now. When you don't want to act, because the scripture says what? Romans 9 and 6 says what? It says, they are not all Israel, which are of Israel. All right? There's the Israel, and you got the Israel of the Most High, man. The Israel of the Most High is a, gov is a, is a government that was established. Do, do we not say that we're building up an army here in, here in America? Where do, where do armies stem from? What's the point of an army? To fight for the government. It's that simple, man. It's that simple. You know? You got something? How far did you read Deuteronomy? Oh, I read it all the way to the judgment down to, yeah, down to 13. Before okay. he talks about the king. Right, okay. Con. Yeah, it says, And all the people shall hear and fear and do no more presumptuously. Because what? It was a judgment laid out. But right now, we, we don't have that, that, that or the apostles, or, or men don't have that authority to actually judge. You know, we're judging based on the scriptures, but we don't have the authority to enforce the judgment. Not yet. Exactly. Not yet. That's why the scripture says, uh, 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 look, see, that's why it's heavy you said what you said earlier, because the scripture says what? And after, uh, you got the, the fishers? Let me get that real quick. What's that? Jeremiah? Fishers of men? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, Jeremiah. Hunt Fish and then hunt? 16 and 16 or 16 yeah. and 14? Yeah, I think 16. All right. Because, yeah, get that for me, Bubba Kushar. Now, because the men that have been laboring are doing the fishing. Mm -hmm. You're not going to be, you're not going to be a hunter if you didn't fish. It don't work that way. The, the fishers are going to be turned to hunters. Now, who's been doing the most fishing, man? All right? Go ahead. That's what I was getting at when I said you've you, you been... Uh, Presumptuous? Yeah. Uh, what was the word? That basically, arrogant. Because what makes you think that the Lord's dealing with you over them men? Right. Like, all the, look at their fruit. And look at that. They, they've, they've been walking in a good way, man. You know, that's why we got we supposed to follow them men. Now, you talking about... You, <laughs> you got to look at this thing spiritually. Look at you compared to them. <laughs> and, you know? They, they resume... They, they, yeah. Hey, the most... The scripture talk about wisdom has to trust you first, man. He tried those men. And they got a lot of fruit out of it. Mm -hmm. But look at your little resume. And then most of the people that follow you was their fruit too. Them too. 
Exactly. So you don't really have no fruit to be coming up against these men. Right. You know? Uh, this is Jeremiah 16, verse 16. It says, Behold, I will send for many fishers, saith Yahweh, and they shall fish them. And after will I send for many hunters, and they shall hunt them from every mountain and from every hill out of the holes of the rocks. Yeah, that's right, man. That's right. You go, the men of the Lord, the ones that have been doing the fishing, is going to do the hunting, man. You know? Hey, man, it is what it is. You know, through the Spirit of the Lord, these men have been laboring, like the brother said. The wisdom, they've been tried, man. You know? Why do why you think this wisdom is coming out like this? Because they've been tried, and wisdom is their kin. You know? Wisdom has befriended them. They're married to wisdom. The elect is married to wisdom, fans. You know? All you guys are... Uh, 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 you, see, we're living in a time frame where biting is cool. You know, you look at hip hop, if you will. You know, back in back in the glory days in the nineties, you had to come with something different, man. You couldn't bite somebody and use their style and be considered good or be considered nice. That shit didn't happen. We living in a time frame that's cool now. This YouTube, 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 Twitter, Snapchat, Facebook, all this other shit. People are looking at the styles. And running with it. And that's what they're doing. That's what you niggas is doing. That's what all you backbiters is doing. You're looking at the style that worked. And you know it worked. And that's why you're using that same style. Alright? But that's, you know, that's basically the analogy, man. That's why hip-hop went to shit, man. Because of YouTube. Somebody came out with a formula. And then now I can do the same formula. And basically uh, 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 copy it. And I'm good. Uh, now I'm considered good because I use this man's style. Since when that's been cool. Since when that's the since when that's the style. Now there is now there is a statue of limitations to that. You know that's what that's why you have wicked man pleasing. You have righteous man pleasing. Now a man that comes up under another man and does it in righteousness that is cool. You the scriptures say mark the perfect man, but you don't backbite off that. That's like you know to use the, the analogy of, of hip hop, if you will. That's like me. Say for instance, I grew up. I like Snoop Dogg. And I take Snoop Dogg whole style. Like what 50 did to Ja Rule. He basically got on Ja Rule for his whole style and then used his whole style. Really, that was some whack shit. That shit wasn't cool, but people liked it though. You know? But that just show you the type of the, the type of society we live in. You gonna take a nigga whole style, or you gonna take the men of the Lord's style, and then you gonna you gonna run with it and then get at them with it. Oh, you niggas, man. Oh, you some niggas, man. That's what scripture scripture say. Riches are not comely for a nigga, man. You know, you don't know what to do with these riches. Go ahead, brother. Kind. Yeah, I'm about to get into Judges. But I just wanted to make this quick point, man. The scriptures say, Then shall you know that it was a prophet among them. Right. So you got to understand, man. If you read the scriptures, man, they didn't know who the prophets was, the true prophets was at the time when they was on the scene. And it wasn't until afterwards. Like what? They didn't believe Isaiah at the time, you know? But what what happens when um but when Yahweh Shah came he said who do you say that I am they say Isaiah or Isaiah or one of the prophets so after the fact when his words was proven to be true they knew him to be a, a prophet man just like now when Yahweh Shah was on the scene you know which you people don't really believe in him but but it's widely accepted that oh he was the son of the Most High after after he died man but when he was on the scene they didn't take him to be the son you know. Well, some of them did, and they backbite. Them. Exactly. They, 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 and that's y'all. Yeah, yeah, hell yeah, that's them because they understood that he was the Messiah, that he was the chosen, but they still said, "Look, now nah, we got to stop this because it's, what it's going to do? It's going to tear down our government. It's going to tear down our establishment." See, you niggas want to get your own glory. You are those ancient Pharisees, man. You Sakari, you blockhead nigga. You <laughs> all you niggas is blockheads. All of y'all got some blockheads. You know. Uh, the three stooges, all of y'all blockheads, you know, all of y'all, all of y'all mad that you are not the guys, that you're not the person that's that that that's to be that's be worshipped. You're mad at that, you know. All right, so I'm gonna start up in um. This is Judges. Yeah, this is after Samson's very. This is Judges 17 verse 4 says. I mean, 17 verse 1, I'm going to start from the top so you get an understanding of the story. It says, And there was a man of Mount Ephraim whose name was Micah. And he said and he said unto his mother, The eleven hundred shekels of silver 
that were taken from thee, about which thou cursedest and spakest of also in mine ears, behold, the silver is with me. I took it. And be, and his mother said, Blessed be thou of Yahweh, my son. And when he had restored the eleven hundred shekels of silver to his mother, his mother said, I had wholly dedicated the silver unto Yahweh from my hand for my son to make a graven image and a molten image, and therefore I will restore it unto thee. So he he said that he he said that he was um I should keep reading it said yet he restored the money unto his mother and his mother took two hundred shekels of silver and gave them to the founder who made thereof a graven image and a molten image and they were in the house of Micah. Now he said that he he took the money to to build up an image. He said, he said, I had wholly dedicated the silver to Yahweh from my hand for my son to make a graven image. How you going to dedicate, dedicate it to Yahweh but making a graven image, man? Right. You see? That's against the scriptures. And because, and this is what it says. It says, and the man Micah had, this verse 5, and the man Micah had an house of gods <laughs> and made an ephod and a teraphim and consecrated one of his sons who became his priest. In those days there was no king in Israel. But every man did which was right in his own eyes. So it said that after the fact. Because he was doing what was right in his own eyes man. Because he thought that he was doing something to, for the Lord. But he, he wasn't doing it according to the scriptures man. Because if he had somebody to teach him. He wouldn't have did that man. He wouldn't have had a house of gods man. He wouldn't have built a, a, a graven image. And he consecrated one of his sons to them gods man. You know. Thinking he was doing something right. Why the, the ultimately the reason why is because there was no king in that day. Yeah, there was no judge. There was no. There was nobody to. Now you got that. Bring out that what you showed me earlier with the definition and everything. Okay, with, with it, where it expounded. Come. It says. All right, I wrote this down. When you go to the uh, Bible Hub, you know the so-called scholars. You, you know you pick out the bones, but you know they have some good points. It says uh. Um, the commentaries. It says there was no supreme governor. Such as Moses and Joshua were, and after them the judges, and none that had power sufficient to punish public wrongs, whoredoms, and idolatries, and thereby check the progress of vice and profaneness, and keep the people in order. Right, so it was nobody there to check them, just like when he, what we read earlier. Deuteronomy 17. Exactly. They got checked, and then the rest of the people feared, man. Mm -hmm. They didn't do no more pr presumptuously, because it was an actual, it was a top man. You know, just like the situation with um, uh, 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 Paul, he went to the apostles, man. When it was a when it was a uh, a serious conflict, when they thought it was something wrong with the doctrine, man. You know. Uh, then it also says, "No judge to govern and control them." The word "king" being used largely for a supreme magistrate. You know. Oh, you know what? You know what a magistrate is? It's a master. That's the same word for master, a magistrate. Right. It says, the Most High raised up judges to rule and deliver the people when he saw fit. And at other times for their sins, he suffered them to be without them. <laughs> and such That's why, oh, that's, see, the spirit is bad, man. Jose three spirit, and four. Well, yeah, yeah, let me get this real quick. This is, uh, because that's why later on, you get, you got a famine of the word. Yeah. The spirit is bad, man. This is, uh, Ezekiel chapter 7, verse 26. It says, yep. Yeah. Uh, I'll start at verse 21. And I will give it un into the hand of the strangers for a prey and of the into the wicked of the earth for a spoil. And they shall pollute it. My face will I turn from them. And they, see, when the face is being turned. What, right? See, right now, the judges are in your face. The, the magistrates are in your face telling you what to do and how to do it right. All right? But you don't want to listen. <laughs> Sound like Ephraim. You don't want to listen. Right? So, so uh, uh, it says, my face, verse 22, my face will I turn also from them and they shall pollute my secret place. For the robbers shall enter into it and defile it. Make a chain. For the land is full of bloody crimes. And the city is full of violence. Wherefore I will bring the worst of the heathen 
and they shall possess their houses. Yeah, that's talking about martial law, man. All right? See, the Spirit's going to lift up a standard up under those men that took heed to instruction, man, that helped build the temple. All right? It says, I will also make a, the pomp of the strong to cease, and their holy places shall be defiled. See, the pomp is talking about the pride, man. This is, this is talking about Israelites, man. I'll read it again. It says, Wherefore I will bring the worst of the heathen, and they shall possess their houses. That's talking about martial law. I will also make the pomp of the strong to cease. The pomp of the strong is you, you proud niggas out there, man. And their, and their holy places shall be defiled. You've seen a uh, small inclination of that with uh, uh, Comfy, man. Over there uh, 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 on, Madison, on Madison Avenue, man. You know? Continuing on, it says, Destruction cometh, and they shall seek peace, and there shall be none. Mischief shall come upon mischief, and rumor shall be upon rumor, and they shall seek a vision of the prophet, but the law shall perish from the priests, and counsel from the ancients. The word ancient is nothing different than the word elder, man. See, you you going oh you going to learn, man. You going to learn and you going to know. Because right now, that's why the apostles, we learned this from the apostles way back, that the people should be happy that you can actually see the teachers on the streets. You can actually go and get guidance right now. That's when everything is calm. Why? Because the Most High is just speaking right now. But then when the Most High shuts his mouth and closes the mouth of his prophets and closes the street, uh, 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 it says, it says, it says, then they shall seek a vision of the prophet, but the law shall perish from the priests and counsel from the ancients. Ain't going to be no counsel in that day. You need to get the counsel now so when that day comes, you know what to do already. We're being geared for war, but you're like, nah, I don't, I don't want to learn how to fight. That's what it all boils down to. You know? Uh, one more verse. The king shall mourn, the prince shall be clothed with desolation, and the hands of the people... See, you do got different governments. You do got different administrations in Israel. But there's only one true government of Israel. See, so that's when it says the king shall mourn. It's talking about Masharah Yasha'ala. That's what it's talking about. The people that are running around calling themselves the government of Israel. All right? It says, and the, everything up under it, too. It says, and the prince shall be clothed with desolation, and the hands of the people of the land shall be troubled. I will do unto them after their way, and according to their des deserts will I judge them, and they shall know that I am Yahweh. See? And that's the point, man. So you better get with the program now. Yeah. You don't get with the program, you won't get left, man. You know? Con, this is uh, Proverbs 28, verse 29, verse 18. It says, Where there is no vision, the people perish. But he that keep with the law, happy is he. Now, the, the brother just read that they shall seek for a vision, man. You know? <laughs> hey, because what did the scriptures say? He spoke by his prophets and in, in, in what? Uh, uh, or the prophets and seers by visions, you know? So that's how he speak. That's how the Lord speaks to you, man. It's not he just going to come, you know? He's not just going to come to you personally, man. He's not just going to speak like, like Israel think. Jake think that the Most High dealing with each one of them on a personal level, man. No, the Most High deal with a mediator, man. That, and that's how it's always been, man. But then you bring that scripture out with the judge, the judge, the judges. You, 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 I think you said judges, the second chapter, or something like that. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm about to read it right now. Con, this is that's the spirit. This is Judges two, <laughs> verse sixteen. Nevertheless, and this is you know, I, I, um. You read the scriptures, this is when the most high that they kept disobeying, he put their ass in captivity. You know? But this is this is this part. It says, uh, Judges two verse sixteen. Nevertheless, Yahweh raised up judges which delivered them out of the hand of those that spoiled them. Right. Let me, it, 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 see? The most high raised he always that's what the brothers alluded to, the mediators. It was always someone there to help you be delivered, even after Yahweh shot. That's the point of the comforter. So now, when you say that there's no government, that you shouldn't be up under nobody, you're saying the comforter ain't here. You're saying that we don't have the comforter. You're saying that you don't, that we don't have 100% truth. That's why this all revolves around the same category, man. Yep. Here, O Israel, the Lord, our power is one. All right? <laughs> Obadiah 1 to 21. It, uh, verse 17, it says, And yet they would not hear... 
and yet they would not hearken unto their judges. But they went a whoring after other gods. And so, yeah, you know, a little technical difficulty. Satan had to intervene, you know. But, you know, a brother going to read, you know, a brother going to elaborate in the spirit. Come what, what the other verse that you read too, I'll say this, that same concept, where there's no vision, the people perish. Right now, we're getting the vision. We, that's why we have to get it while, he's the saying in the world, you know why you got the food? Get it while it's hot. Right. We're supposed to get it while it's hot. Because there's going to be a time when you ain't going to be able to get it. Yeah. The scriptures say, uh, why, why you uh, spend money for things that profit you not, man. Yeah. You know? Um, but I'm going to read uh, Judges um, 2 verse 17 it says and yet they would not hearken unto their judges but went a whoring after other gods and bowed themselves unto them they they turned quickly out of the way which their fathers walked in obeying the commandments of Yahweh but they did not so so their fathers obeyed you know uh, uh, Joshua you know Moses they obeyed but they did not so they wouldn't hearken unto them man because what, 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 what was the reason for the Lord putting them into captivity in them times because they they was being idolatry, commit, committing whoredoms, man. Just like we read in Judges the seven, um, Judges seventeen chapter, man. Doing what's right in your own eyes, you know. You got a zeal of uh, of the heavenly Father, but not according to knowledge, man. And you better do it the way the heavenly Father want you to do it, because He's very specific in the way He wants things done. Well, that's why that word knowledge is epinosis. When you go into the Greek on that on that on that scripture. They have a zeal of God, but not according to knowledge. The word there for knowledge is epinosis, which means precise and correct. Meaning this, again, hear, O Israel, the Lord our power is one. Plain and simple, man. People quote that and they say it. They don't know what it means, though. Yeah, verse 18, it says, And when Yahweh raised them up judges, then Yahweh was with the judge. It said, when he raised them up, judges, then Yahweh was with the judge right. and, de and delivered them out of the hand of all their enemies. And de delivered them out of the hand of their enemies all the days of the judge. <laughs> For it repented Yahweh because of, the groaning, of their groanings by reasons of them that oppressed them and vexed them. You see? Now you go to, uh, what was it, Obadiah? Obadiah 1 verse 21. It says, wait, wait, Salah, Nehemiah 9 verse 27, it says, Therefore thou deliverest them into the hand of their enemies who vexed them. And in the time of their trouble, when they cry unto thee, thou heardest them from heaven. And according to the, thy manifold mercies, thou gavest them saviors who saved them out of the hand of their enemies. So what? That's synonymous with what we just read. Them judges are saviors, man. You see? Talking about, oh, oh nobody saves. Uh, they even say that about Yahweh Shah. Yahweh said he's the only savior. But how does he save? Yes, you see? It's, it's, it's been broken down to another level. Exactly. It's been broken down to another level. Yep. Because the same time, same thing with Moses. So, it's hypothetically, let's say, for instance, the children of Israel didn't follow Moses out of the out of the land of Egypt. They'd have got swallowed up too. <laughs> if they didn't put the, the blood over their door, yeah, yeah. they would have got killed in the plague. If they didn't listen to Moses. Same concept. And, that, and that's what y'all doing now. Y'all not listening to the, to the real men of the Lord. And you're not getting that mark, man. Right. And now and it's all spiritual too because it's the same concept. Because the blood on the doorpost represented what? It represented Yahweh Shah. Didn't, didn't, you niggas, y'all don't got it, man. Just Y'all don't got it. That's why when Yahweh Shah, the so-called Last Supper, at the so-called communion, at, during the time of the Passover, what did he say? Take ye this my blood. For this is, for this is, take ye this, drink ye this wine. For this is my blood. Drink, eat, eat his bread for this is my body which is all symbolic to the knowledge so the knowledge was passed on to the men that's when he left he passed it on to his men so what happened all of a sudden somebody nobody got it now all of a, so all that what Yahweh Shai did and said was in vain now it makes no sense man Makes no sense. It's cool. It's cool, though. It's cool. We understand. Because some of you niggas is agents, man. I thoroughly believe that in the spirit. Sakari, I, I think I say that to you. You know, it is what it is, man. You know, you are, you are an agent, man. So the most, uh, the, yeah, the most I did set you up through Esau, man. Esau is your mediator, nigga. Straight mm. up. You know? You, 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 you not there. You're not down for the cause, you fake-ass rebel. You know? 
the Zakari. That's not no nigga. You call, you call yourself the Zillots. The Zillots, nigga. When you read Acts the fifth chapter, it talks about what happened to the Zillots. That's nigga. right. You dummy. Fucking rejects. Niggas is crazy. Hey, man. All you niggas, man. All you niggas, man. Straight up. Hey, man. Listen, man. Jeremiah. Jeremiah 3 verse 15 and I will give you passes according to mine heart which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding It's not we in the last days man You think the most high ready to start this thing all the way over and start with y'all little punk asses man You know the scriptures say what the fifth chapter uh, I think it's five and five It says Jeremiah 5 and 5 it says I will get me into great men and will speak unto them for they have known the way of Yahweh and the judgment of their power, but these have altogether broken the yoke and burst the bonds, man. Yeah, these are the same basic scriptures that brothers used to bring out when, when you know, when a lot of these guys used to be in GMS or whatever the case is, they would bring these scriptures out. Like, uh, for instance, Jeremiah 23 and 1, I shall feed, thee, feed you with pastors according to my heart. And what, and what every brother broke it down. Yeah, that's the, that's the brothers in GMS, that's the elders, that's the apostles in GMS. You know, but now all of a sudden, because you was told to do something and you didn't do it, you acted presumptuously. Now there's no there's no passages that are going to lead. All right, Th that, that's there's porters. You know, if you don't know what a porter is, look it up. All right, you got the door, which Yahweh Shai is the door, but then you have porters at the door. All right, now I'm gonna read this and back you up. I got two things. This is uh, Daniel chapter 20, verse... Uh, no, I'm sorry. Two. Ain't no Daniel 20. Daniel 2 and 20. Daniel answered and said, Blessed be the name of the Most High forever and ever, for wisdom and might are his. And he changes the times and the seasons. He removeth kings and set up, set up, up kings. He giveth wisdom unto the wise and knowledge to them that know understanding. Those are those wise counsels, man. He revealeth the deep and secret things. He knoweth what is in the darkness and in the light. Dwelleth with him. If you know that's talking about Yahweh Hashem Yahweh but it's also talking about those kings, man. Because that's why when you read, when you read Deuteronomy the seventeenth chapter, when after you see that part and it goes into the to, in, into the, uh, 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 the 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 person or the characters of a king. A king really ain't supposed to be, like, I did a video on this a while back, and I went back and I looked on how many brothers seen it. Brothers liked that video because it, it really hit the point on what a king really is. A king is someone that has understanding. A king is not a person that sits up uh, 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 and with his feet up and just does nothing, you know, or, or, or just and just getting fed grapes like how you see, um, what's his name, uh, Hakeem from uh, Coming to America, just getting, uh, you know, getting... Uh, uh, getting washed and like uh, all, all that's fine and dandy, you know. All those dainty things is fine and dandy, but a true king is a man of judgment, a man of understanding. That's a true king. So, are there the are there men on earth that have true understanding? So, therefore, if you could say yes to that, then there's kings on the earth right now, nigga. All right, you have rulers on the earth right now. You have gods on the earth right now. Deliverers. Yeah, you have deliverers on the earth right now. Again, Matthew 10 and 40. He that receiveth you, receiveth me. Mm -hmm. Man, is this more and more evident that we're close to the end? Yeah. Because as this wickedness is prevailing, everybody getting a little shine, yo, we getting fed more and more and more. And our appetite is getting bigger and bigger. The immune system is working. We're trimming the fat. You know, it's all working together, man. The circadian rhythm, baby. <laughs> you know, hey, whatever you got. Oh, I got, I'll bring this out while you look for what you're looking for. This is uh, Psalm 75. I'm going to start at uh, verse 6. For promotion cometh neither Ooh. from the east nor from the west nor from the south. Now, when you get promoted, that means you get ranked up. You got, you're going to I was going to say, because we went to the, the, the lesson of order, and the word ordain, hey, ordain goes back into order, man. And, and, the, and the most high ordains the prophets, man. Yeah. You, got, you have no say in who's the prophets. Yeah. And, and what you just say, it's promotion. A, yeah, promotion neither come from the east nor the west. But the most high is the judge. 
he put it down one and set it up another. For in the hand of Yahweh is the cup, and the wine is red, is full of mixture. He will pour out the same, but the dregs thereof, the wicked of the earth, shall wring them out and drink them. But I will declare forever, I will sing praises to the God of Jacob. All the horns of the wicked also will I cut off, but the horns of the righteous shall be exalted. See, those horns, is those powers, those, those power structures, man. So you got power structures of the wicked and you got power structures of, of, of the righteous. And the power structure of the righteous is going to be lifted up. Or it's going to be promoted next. How are you going to sit here and say, we got next? Who got next? The men of the Lord got next, right? <laughs> so obviously the men of the Lord is on earth. Ultimately, when you say that there's no judgment, there's no counsel, you can't, there's no proper leaders, you saying that the men of the Lord are not on earth, nigga. Those same men that were back in the scriptures, Isaiah, Jeremiah, Ezekiel, Obadiah, so on and so forth, are not back on earth. Again, that's why you mentioned, who did they say I am? They mentioned other prophets. Why? Because they knew Yahweh Shai was of great counsel. They knew it, whether they wanted to get down with the program or they didn't. And that's why the apostles and the brothers on down say, look, you know who the men of the Lord are. You're just backbiting, nigga. Because you, know? you want that position. Yeah. You got a problem with, with, with men being worshipped, <laughs> yeah. but you don't even understand the word. They understand it. But they just bitching. But you, but you want that praise. You want that reverence. Yeah. Otherwise, you wouldn't be doing what you're doing, man. I, one time, Sakari, I, I don't know if it was exactly Alize, but one of the Sakari, they was talking about views. Talking about views, man. That's a carnal thing. Yeah, that's why they that's why they got commercials before they, they videos come up. Him, them, Yakanan. And I'ma say this too. I'm gonna go in the spirit and say this. And brothers in GMS ain't supposed to be doing that shit, man. You putting this word out, man. You don't have no you ain't supposed to have no commercials before your videos, man. The apostles and the elders don't do that, man. You ain't supposed to be doing that, man. That's ba you basically selling the word, man. So brothers don't be they ain't supposed to be doing that shit, man. Straight up and down, man. That's off, man. The scriptures say buy the truth and sell it not. We don't do this thing for profit, man. You know? Let them niggas do that shit. You know? Yeah, I'm going to get this because the brother said that's how we know we're in the last days, right? This is 2 Timothy 3 verse 1. It says, This know also that in the last days perilous times shall come. For men shall be lovers of their own selves. Yeah. Covetous. Now, y'all covered in the apostles' position, man. Yeah. You know? The most I put them in that position. That's they didn't ask for it. Right. Boasters. Yakanon. All of them. Proud. Blasphemers. Disobedient to parents. Mm -hmm. Unthankful. Unholy. Man, you unthankful. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Unholy. Without natural affection. Hey, what? That that, that brother that's tender among you, man? Mm -hmm. You know, you 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 forward in the curses, man. Mm -hmm. Truce breakers. False accusers. Yakanon again. In in contentment, fierce, despises of those that are good. Mm. See, you despising those that are good, man. What the scriptures say? Woe to them that call evil good and good evil. That take light for darkness and darkness for light, man. Mm -hmm. Now, what's the light? The light is these scriptures, man. So, if you're not speaking according to this word, then there's no light in you. You know? It says, traitors, heady, high-minded, lovers of pleasures, whoa, whoa. more than... So lock it. You gotta expound on that. Go traitors. They traitors. Who are the traitors right now? As as as, as, as uh uh as uh, as it is today, let you go down the line. All right. Well, you do. You got a nigga. Uh uh uh. Well, I don't even consider that trading. Uh uh uh, uh IUIC because I was gonna mention IUIC. You got his guys. They left. They vomited it up. They're not, I wouldn't even consider them traitors. They don't go on there and be like, yo, nigga, you wicked, y'all wicked. They don't call themselves. He, that, even that nigga, he don't condemn, he don't condemn Nate. He just talk about how he don't believe it no more. ISUPK. How many people you ever seen make a video about ISUPK? Saying, well, them niggas is wicked. Up. I seen one video. There's one guy lingering. I don't know what happened to him. Uh, I think two, matter of fact. I'm just, no, 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 no. I'm talking about uh, modern, St. Kobe okay, go way back. I'm talking about modern times. Like, you know, more recent years, somebody left GM or left ISUPK was like, you know, oh, nah, 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 I ain't, you know, I, f fuck Yohana, you know, and that nigga wicked, you, this, that, and the third, you, nigga, you talking about uh, popping bitches in their ass, you off, nigga, like, nobody, nobody left ISUPK and said, I was a former member and, and, and traded on him. Now, you look at GMS, 
How many people want, man, that nigga, Blue is, <laughs> he's the cheerleading conductor, man. You know? You're, between uh, Izar, uh, 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 all the Three Stooges, um, Sakari, all of y'all niggas is traitors. That's right. You didn't go, you can, there's one thing to go out with saying, look, like like how the dude did for my UIC. You know, I'm going to just leave part ways. I don't believe this no more, so I'm going to just do my own thing. You know, I ain't going to talk bad about them. You know, I'll even say it, men are valid. They never came out and said uh, uh, nothing bad about the apostles or nothing like that. You know, not that, not that we know, to call it all the way straight. Now, they didn't trade, if you will, as, as, as we can see. You know, now, uh, now, uh, 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 the rest of these guys, they some straight up traitors, man. It was scriptures talked about you niggas, man. So who is that talking about? Because who would you read him? What would you read him? Second Timothy. Second Timothy. See, so, so Timothy, which was of the body of Yahweh Shai, said that in the last days, it was going to be traitors, man. Right. And the scriptures say in the last, uh, them of your own household. Your own foes should be those of your own household. That's man. right. And then, let me say this real quick. Now, the main reason I, uh, I mention that is because, is because this is obviously not just traitors. Because there's, there's plenty of traitors all over the place. But not just traitors, but traitors of the house of the Lord, though. Yeah. That's what it boiled down to. Because they've been traitors. Uh, 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 all across the world, man. You got Edward Snowden's a fucking traitor. If you want to get technical. Yeah. Two, you know, two thirds are traitors, man. But you are the worst type of traitors because you knew the truth, man. Yeah. And now you coming up against the truth, man. You, you, y'all the heathens that's trying to hinder us from building the temple. Yeah. Nigga, it says traitors, heady, high-minded, lovers of pleasures more than lovers of the Most High, man. See, see, cause you, cause you, hey, man, Yakana, he, he loves, he loves exposing people. You know. Oh, 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 these guys, they love views. They love being seen in the great light instead of just being under in, in subjection, submitting to the men of the Lord. So right. you you hate that, which the Lord tell you to do. So And you love your own pleasures, man. Yeah, that's right. You love your freedom. You didn't want to be under this bondage, man. So you already fell and the, and the, and the doctrine is leaking out of you. And I'm talking about you from Chicago, boy. You know, cause you, hey man, I used to listen to you, and then but now the stuff that you saying is just easily destroyed. Like, <laughs> yo, you you failing at the milk, bro. He they, he ate. The scripture says, "Uh, eat thou uh sufficient honey." You know, uh, I'll get it real quick, real 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 quick. This is uh, uh, Proverbs twenty. Is it twenty-seven, twenty-five, or twenty? Yeah, twenty-five and twenty-seven. It is, it is not, well, this is a different one. It is not good to eat much honey. So men to search their own glory is not good. So the honey is the scriptures. You got to eat with sufficient amount for you. Here it goes. Verse 16. Uh, it says, has thou found honey? Eat so much as is sufficient for thee, lest thou be filled therewith and vomit it. And that's what's happening, man. You know, speaking on the dude from uh, sh 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 notice, notice that they're shy. N notice that they're shy Israelites. I was thinking about this. They're not Hebrew Israelites. They're shy Israelites. <laughs> you know, you just you're just Israelites that's in the world from Chicago. <laughs> you know, you know, you're, 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 you're not you're, you're not Hebrew Israelites. You're shy Israelites. <laughs> you know, you know, you, you know, you're, 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 sh you're shy town Israelites. You're Chicago. You're some Chicago niggas that call themselves Israelites. That's what it boils down to, man. Man. Go I'm ahead, gonna, brother. I'm going to keep going because I was going to stop at five, but it gets just too good. It says, uh, having a form of godliness, but denying the power thereof from such turn away. <laughs> hey, man. Listen, man. You denying the power thereof, man. That's right. It says, for of this sort are they which creep into houses and lead captive silly women laden with sus, laden with sins, led away by diverse lusts. Now, that's all you that's going to follow them. You know, and you only following them because you don't, as John 3 and 19 say, you won't come into the light, the light, lest your sins be made manifest. Mm -hmm. And you love, you love darkness. Yeah. So that's why you're going to follow them niggas, man. Because yeah. the apostle's not telling you nothing wrong. All right. It says, ever learning and never, and yeah. never able to come to the knowledge of the truth. Because this truth is simple, man. All you got to do is believe in the truth. 
But hey, you you can learn some things, but you 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 skipping over the simple things, man, because your foundation is destroyed. All right, you know. And it says now as Janus and Jambres withstood Moses. Uh, let me say this because the, the simple things are the very basic things. The first thing you had to do in order to come into this truth was to deny yourself, and that's why you 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 forgot the very you forgot the basics. You forgot the milk. You know, you forgot to deny yourself. You know, that's what it boiled down to, man. That's why the scriptures talk about those that covet themselves, <clears throat> they covetous, <clears throat> after their own lust, they're, they're presumptuous. Why? You forgot to deny yourself. You know? You got to think about, you got to do that every day, man. You got to deny yourself every day. Better yet, you should pray to the Lord to, den to help you deny yourself. Because we can't deny ourselves on our own. The only way we can deny ourselves is through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. You can't do this on your own. It does not work. That's why the scripture says, therefore when I am weak, therefore I am strong. Alright? Because Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is, our, is our, our fight, is our defense. At the end of the day, you can't fight on your own. It does not work. And if you think you can fight on your own, just ask Dathan, Corey, and Abby Ram. Maybe you go. Maybe you can join them down there in that hole where they at. You know, real talk, real talk. This, this. That's why, man, brothers did that motivational video. And the thing, you know, that's that really stood out to me is that you know what Apostle Ramlap said. He said, "I don't think brothers really know what this is about." Straight up, man. This is. This, this this ain't to be taken for light. Do you know what the Most High will do to you? You know? Yeah, this verse... We don't, we don't know what the Most High will do to you, man. Verse 8, it says, Now as Janus and Jambres withstood Moses, so do these also resist the truth. Many Same. of corrupt minds reprobate concerning the faith. Now, do you know who John and Jambres was, man? Those are those two magicians. The Egyptian magicians... Uh, let me just read it. You go into the little name. It says, He and Jambres were two Egyptian magicians who in the presence of Pharaoh imitated the miracles of Aaron in order to destroy his influence with the king. Oh, come on. Hold on. Nah, 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 nah yo. Nah, yo. Nah. The imita what did it say? It imitated. That backs up my point I was talking about earlier. They, they, how you want to imitate the real deal? <laughs> and, 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 and in order to what? It said in order to destroy his influence with the king. Oh man! And you, and, man, what? Oh man! Ah, oh, boy. First of all, you're trying to destroy the apostles' influence with the rest of the flock, but you you think that you're going to destroy the influence of them men to the Lord, which is not going to happen, man. You're not tricking the Lord. The scriptures say He knows them that are His, man. The three stooges, they think Corey and Abby Ram, and then you got uh 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 the Sakari, the two uh I call them niggas Bert and Ernie, but your new names are uh. Uh, uh, what's his names? Jan, 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 Janus. Jan, go ahead. Jana and Jambres. Yeah, Janus and Jana and Jambres. That's you two niggas. You know, you niggas. You guys are back. You know, you guys are back, and you're bucking up to the house of David again. You know, you're bucking up to the words of the Lord, man. You know, it's it's over for you guys. Just hang it up. You know. <laughs> it says, "So do these also resist the truth." Yeah, yeah. Men of corrupt minds. Yeah, yeah. But it, it, coincidentally. Coincidentally, see, and, uh, you niggas are wicked. Timothy used uh, 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 something from the Old Testament because you know these guys. Oh, you always talking about the Old Testament. Use the New Testament. You know, Timothy used something from the Old Testament, right? And then he compared the same scenario <laughs> to y'all, yeah, man. To to he compared the same scenario to scenarios that were happening in in his time. So it's not far fetched when we talk about Moses and we talk about. You know, whoever, whoever the top judges were at the time, back, way back when, you know, and when we t bring those men up, people, they, they'll say, the, 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 the nigga, them niggas, they'll say, uh, uh, well, that's talking about back then. But Timothy used the same scenario. He could, he used Moses for his time, after the Lord died. Why? Because Timothy knew he was of the body of Yahweh Shai. Now, ultimately, that's why, again, ultimately, what it boils down to, you're not bucking up to us, you're bucking up to your house shy. You buck up to the men of the Lord, you buck up to your house shy. At the end of the day, man. Yeah, verse uh, 9, it says, But they shall proceed no further.
for their folly shall be made for their folly shall be manifest unto all men as theirs also was. That's right. Like most high, fake magicians, you you was manifested. Hey, you ain't have it, dog. The Most High is going to put you to an open shame. You know, the Most High is going to when the Most High takes you out, he go, you you want the fame, right? You want the, you want the praise. You want your name to be known. You gonna get your name known. You know. You got more. You got something else. Yeah, I just wanted to read some more of what we had written down. It says uh, a couple of things I wrote. It says, um, damn. it says, Salakia. Well, basically, because <laughs> we was getting into the order out of chaos, right? It says, it says, it is a natural interference or inference, I mean, a conclusion reached on the basis of evidence and reasoning. And what's the evidence? Is these scriptures, man. You know, and the reasoning is you should know from what we're going through, the curses that we should, that we under right now, right? It says that men ought to be extremely thankful for lawful authority. And if they would preserve their happiness, because it says what? He put us into, he gave us the judges to see how, how it was good, how we, we, we prospered during them times. But when we didn't, we didn't prosper, man. You know? So that, when we had the judges, we was happy. It says, ought to be zealous to support the, that authority, as well as discourage all disregard for the accepted rules, man. So we should be zealous for for um. It says what we should we ought to be zealous to support that that authority as the men the the true men of Great Millstone are, man. And it says as well as di as to discourage all dis disregard to the accepted rules, man. You know, uh, uh, and, and your approaches to towards the. Um, basically breaking that down, man. You know, talking about there's no, 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 no rulers, man. No, no, uh, no authorities. You know, no spiritual fathers, man. And then and they gave an example. It said the Persians have a custom which justifies this reflection. When any of their kings die, they suffer the people to do as they please for five days. That by the disorders then committed, they may see the necessity of a legal government Ooh. and learn. Submission to it, Ooh. you know, and that's what they doing. Order out of chaos, man. That's what they gonna do. They gonna they gonna break down this society so it can be out of order. That's why you have laws, man. That's why you have rules to regulate. So when they do that, then they gonna come in with the answer, and then people gonna be able to accept it like that. But guess what? That's what the Lord did. He he broke us down so we can be able to accept His authority, man. He gonna but, do it again, right? And you, yeah, exactly. And that's what you people bucking up to. That's what you you people don't want that government. You know? So, hey, it's not us you hating. You hating the Lord's authority, man. You hate that he rules over you, man. You know? This is what the Moses say. Choose life. He, he set before you life and death. Choose life, man. And you choosing death, man. And we just sitting here trying to tell you that. You know? Beginning with the apostles and elders on down, man. You know? Yeah, that saying can never get old. Uh, What did I have? I want to get... Oh, damn. It was in Jeremiah, the second chapter, or third chapter. Fuck. So like it. No, that's all good. I'm going to wrap up in a little because you know, it's getting lengthy. Yeah, it is. This is a... Uh... I watch the thing too because it's getting closer. This is Jeremiah 2, verse 30. It says, In vain have I smitten your children. They receive no correction. Your own sword have devoured your prophets like a destroying lion. So in vain have he smitten you. In vain did he give us no judges and we were destroyed. Because you, when he sent you the prophets, when he sent you them judges, he sent you them saviors, the deliverers, you rejected them. It says, and um, he said, receive no correction. Your own sword have devoured your prophets like a destroying lion. O oh, degeneration, O oh, oh, generation, see ye the word of Yahweh. Have I been a wilderness unto Israel, a land of darkness? Wherefore say my people, we are lords, we come no more unto thee. Yeah, you the, see? the Most High always makes a way. When he says, Have I been a wilderness? You know, a wilderness is empty. You know, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is fulfilling. You know, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai always set up. That's why the scripture says in uh, first, second, uh, first Corinthians 10 chapter, the most high always make up a way for you to escape no matter what the temptation is. So the the way to escape is, you know, getting up under the order, man. Plain and simple. That's, yeah. that's what it boils down to. 
Right. The scriptures say, have I spoken to you in darkness, man? No, he, he, he what? That's why the scriptures say, let your light, let, put your candle on top of the housetops, man, on the rooftops. You see? Because how did he do that? Have, have he spoken to you in darkness? No. He's spoken to you in the open by his. Right. The Lord's spoken to you by his men, man. You see? And you reject them. That's why the scriptures talk about in Psalms, uh, why do the heathen rage, man? And the people imagine a vain thing. Right. And that's you guys, man. That's talking about you. That's what y'all don't understand. You know, right. it, it's, yep. it's, the, it's twofold, but it's, it's really talk because this thing, hey, we, we always say this thing is about Jacob and Esau, but really it's about the, the two thirds and the elect, man. Yeah, yeah. You know, mo most of the songs when we bring out them scriptures about, you know, or the wicked, this, that, and the third, the wicked draw snares, the, just Psalms 55. Uh, I, I challenge brothers to read Psalms 55. A lot of times we bring Psalms 55 and 20 out for Esau, and it's talking about how uh, 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 he, had, he had made war with such that be at peace with him. That whole chapter is talking about Israel. All right? I let brothers, you know, go into it and you go into it for yourself and you get it and you read it and you'll see that it's not talking about Esau. You can bring it out for Esau, just like Revelations 3 and 9, Revelations 2 and 9. You can bring that out for Esau, but at the end of the day, the main rebuke goes to Israel. You know? The rebuke starts with Israel first because Esau's just doing his job, man. Damn, that's heavy. I was just reading the Psalms, the second chapter, what we just brought out. But we're going to close on this one, man. This is uh, Psalms 12, verse uh, um, 3. It says, Yahweh shall cut off all flattering lips and the tongue that speaketh proud things, who have said with our tongue, we will prevail. Our lips are our own, who is Lord over us. See? And that's what y'all saying, man. You know? But uh, basically, the, the point is, you know, you... You doing what's right in your own eyes, man. So, hey, like like I said, you you read the last the last four chapters of of uh of Judges, man, and it says this: the four chapters which finish this book show us to what degree the Israelites were degenerated in a short space from the death of Caleb to the election of his younger brother to be their judge, man. So, and that's what that's what scripture that we brought out. How did you become a degenerate plant? You know, because you despise order. You despise government. You know? And then what? You, If you despise that, then you're doing what's right in your own eyes, man. Come. Okay. You can close it, brother. Hey, but with that, you know, Lord Willing Brothers was edified. We was a little bit long-winded. But, hey, you know, if so certain stuff came out, you know. Um, hey, you brothers, that's on the fence, man. You got to understand. You got to look at this thing with a spiritual eye. You know, you got to be reading the scriptures and see whether these things be so. You know, and the elect going to get it. But with that, I want to give all praises, glory, and honor to you. How about Shem Al Shai? Double lines to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And salutations to all the hopeful elect that's pushing this word in truth and sincerity. And, you know, the, the ones that's following and listening and trying to get themselves right in these last days. You know? But with that, we want to say Shalom. Shalom.